after you start playing with the micro bit you realize you need an easier way to plug some things in and you need to plug more things in the so micro bit really only has three of the pins accessible zero one and two and then power and ground obviously and it's got 16 more pins that you could use but they're hard to get at and that's why you need an expansion board sometimes called a breakout board sometimes called a hat or a shield so here are four there's a whole bunch of different ones some are very specialized um, they only do motors they only do servos they only do light they I mean they're very specific these are four general ones that I've played with a bit there's the maker bit there's the cricket there is uh, the elect freaks motor bit and the bit booster by electrify they all have nuances to them some goods um, some spe specific purposes they're designed for so you have to look at what they're going by they go from about fourteen dollars to thirty five dollars uh, I think thirty thirty five also so let's talk about some of the nuances to them the maker bit uh, this is the plus R one the robotics one there's another slightly smaller uh, maker bit the biggest design for it is that these four the these these pins here are for 12 touch points um, the maker bit come comes with some ribbon cables that have LEDs but also just open ribbon cables open ends for you to put in connections um, particularly touch points which are just little you use anything for a touch point um, they're the head they're the backing of an earring basically um, so it has 12 touch points built into it and then here we have 12 spots designed for LEDs and then some analog um, the analog pins there a0 1 a1 a2 3 and a4 um, that's a nice design if you need some quick LED you know, a bunch of uh, little LEDs for like a display board it also has motor ports motors don't like to be driven just directly from like some power they, they want um, they want some control to them so that's where the boards all tend to have some kind of a motor thing to them so it's got motor controller there um, it's got some Grove ports which uh, Grove sensors are some specifically designed sensors that are easier four pin connectors um, so here's the I squared C connector one there um, the maker bit also has all the pins broken out for easy access easy access with uh, jumper cables um, so that means that there's some uh, duplicating here like this is a zero one two three four well this is also a zero one two three four so you're not going to be using both this and this just to be aware of that the other nice thing about the maker bit is it's uh, got DC input that can go up to 12 volts I believe and, and the voltage is important for motors and servos a lot of servos don't like three volts they'll run but not run great motors want more voltage and also some of the Grove sensors um, want five volts and then the, the micro bit only wants three volts so they've got some electronics on here that routes three volts to the micro bit and fives to other places and then all the power can go to the motors cricket by Adafruit uh, again, ni uh, nice setups, easy to plug. Tells you where to plug things in. Um, you want to do servos, plug them in here. Want to do motors, plug two motors in here. Uh, NeoPixels, you plug your NeoPixels in there. A speaker, plug it in there. Capacitive touch, that's like the touch point saying. Plug in there. General input output, there's eight there. Um, so, so it's giving you a little bit more definition of what to plug in where and how to plug things in. Um, and it can take it wants five volts so DC input there is five volts which means three up to five volts which means three regular uh, alkaline double AA, AAA kind of things 
or for rechargeables, nickel metal hydrides. Um, we then have the Bit Booster by Electrify, which comes with a battery pack. So you put put three, and you, you're going to want to put three alkaline batteries on there, not nickel metal hydride rechargeables. Again, the nickel metal hydride rechargeables have a little bit slightly lower voltage than 1.5. And this is very specific, telling you where to plug things in. They they made some neat cards that tell you how to plug, tell you how where to plug things in, tell you what's all on there, um, give you some code on how to get started. So that's a nice thing by them. Um, again, Grove ports. Um, they want you to plug servos in here. They want you to plug motors in here, and they've got. 10 neopixels here already but they give you uh, another port here to plug in neopixels if you need more they've got some of the pins that are still available uh, pinned out here so like the extra pins not the, the but not all 18 18 yeah 18 of the pins from the micro bit um, these holes which also work as the pins not just there you can also use the, the holes, like on the micro bit. They are uh, designed to be the size of a uh, Lego. So you can build, build it on the Legos. So that's the bit booster. And it's got an on off button. And then the least expensive of the ones I have um, is the Electrics motor bit. They've got this little regular, same thing same side, just like Freak's breakout board, which literally just breaks out all the pins like this. I wanted the motor board because it has some motor control aspects to it. Also, this has a little uh, piezo speaker, which is always nice to have there. A little buzzer. It's got an on-off button. Um, you can input up to 9 volts. Again, good for the motors because they like more voltage. It breaks out the pins, all of them. I think I didn't actually count. No, yeah, breaks out all the pins. Um, what one thing it does nice is that it, it's you see the pins have broken up in two sets. These pins will only get three volts. These pins there's a switch to change it to five volts. So you don't want to put servos up on the five volt. Um, some of the sensors, uh, like a uh, distance ultrasonic distance sensor, wants five volts. So you don't want to plug it in up there. Um, so they made a nice little feature to that. For all of these things, you're going to want to buy an assortment of wires, jumper wires. This would be female to male. You also want some female to female. Usually you buy them in a set of three, a set of three. Uh, the third one is uh, male to male, which is usually just used for breadboards. You also want some alligator clip to female. Again, you probably have to buy that in a pack that's got alligator clip to female and alligator clip to male. And then you want some general alligator clips. You can never have too many jumper wires. Uh, so there's some thoughts about some of the expansion boards.